Folks, Marjorie Taylor Greene is gosh darn mad right now about the fact that we do not have Republican attorneys general out there prosecuting and arresting Democrats. It's a shame, she tells us. On the platform formerly known as Twitter this week, Marjorie Taylor Greene sent out this post asking, why aren't these Republicans arresting Democrats left and right? Here's what she said. Why hasn't a Republican state AG or Republican County DA arrested Democrats for crimes they've committed? Ken Paxton was trying to until the Texas rhinos impeached him. Democrats have gone full communism and are playing for keeps. It's time for Republicans to grow a spine. Is Marjorie Taylor Greene capable of uttering any kind of sentence or paragraph that does not include the word communism. Cause at this point I am firmly convinced that her brain will literally explode if she doesn't throw the word communism into every third or fourth sentence, because man, she throws that around like people say ifs and buts, and she has no idea what it means. That's the funniest part. It's a stupid person trying to sound like a smart person by using big words that they don't understand, hoping nobody else understands them anyway. Unfortunately for her, communism is not really that big of a word, nor is it that impressive to use in everyday conversation. And most people do understand what communism actually is. And what she is describing is of course, not communism. She would be describing by the way, authoritarianism. That is the word she is looking for authoritarianism, but let's get back to the point here, right? Let's not argue about her grammar. We'll be here all day. Why aren't Republicans arresting, arresting Democrats for their crimes? And then she says, uh, uh, Ken Paxton over in Texas, the dieted indicted, excuse me, Texas attorney general, he was investigating Democrat. No, 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 he wasn't like you just made that up. That is just something you came up with. And in order to justify your idiotic statement, you claim that Republicans then retaliated against Ken Paxton for arresting Democrats, which never happened in the first place. So that that's quite the tall tale there, Marjorie, but your big thing, why aren't they arresting Democrats? And Marjorie, I, I think, I think, you know, the answer to that, they're not arresting them because they're not breaking the law. Think about it for a second, folks, folks think logically about what Republicans are saying here, right? They're telling us that these prosecutions of Donald Trump are politically motivated. They're trying to take out their biggest opponent, even though polls show us a poll yesterday showed us a majority of voters say that they will not vote for Donald Trump again. 53% of the public says they says they will not vote for Donald Trump. So he's not a threat to president Biden. Honestly, I believe he is not a threat at all. The threat to Biden is Democrats staying home in 2024. He could definitely lose that way, but he's not going to lose because Trump is exciting people and flipping moderates over to his side. That's not a thing. So on the surface, this alleged political prosecution is total BS because Trump's not even a threat. And let's take it one step further. Let's assume that this was some kind of political persecution against Republicans. Then why are they only after going after the one guy? Right. I mean, if you're going to go big, if you're going to do the political persecutions that she claims are communist, wh why not go after all of them? Like, why are you not going after Greg Abbott in Texas? I mean, he is setting traps for, for migrants that are killing people and maiming them. You know, what, why are we not going to, why are we not going after Ron DeSantis? Why are we not going after Sarah Huckabee Sanders? Why aren't we going after Mitch McConnell or Kevin McCarthy or Matt Gates? It's not a political persecution. It's a criminal prosecution. And the reason that Republican AGs and Republican DAs aren't out there arresting Democrats left and right is because contrary to Republican belief, Democrats aren't the ones out there constantly and consistently breaking the law. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.